How to answer a P5 exam question in 10 easy steps. Step 4, planning tools. When I talk about planning tools, I'm only trying to talk to you about the sort of models and uh, the sort of calculation that we might have to use in answering a question to score more marks. Most of the requirement in the exam so will give you a hint as to the sort of models that you might use to be able to score more marks in the exam so. The first thing you can do is you need to have a skeletal plan after you've read the requirement. So for example, if the requirement talks to you about environmental analysis, the sort of models that should actually pop to mind will include things like pestle, things like SWOT. If the requirement talks to you about competition, I believe that one of the things that will pop to mind will be the Porter's Five Forces. Now, by knowing this in exam so it will aid you to actually pick up the right information from reading the scenario. You'll also need to know the sort of calculation you are, you are to perform and why you are performing such calculations. In this example given to us, the B part of the question is asking me to perform an assessment of the financial performance of LOL using EVA. The examiner is asking me to perform a financial assessment of a company or the financial performance of a company using EVA. The examiner also goes further to ask me to calculate EPS and also share price information. The first thing I ask myself is EVA. How do I calculate EVA? EVA is actually calculated as your no part minus into bracket your economic capital employed times your work. I also know that I need to be able to calculate my EPS. EPS, I need to get my PAT, which is my profit after tax, and also I need to find my number of shares. Now, by knowing this from here, I know that EVA will require me to calculate my NOPAT. That means if I know that I need to calculate EVA and I need to find my NOPAT, I need to think of the possible information that I need to get to enable me to calculate my NOPAT. My capital employed, I need to find how to calculate it. I need to think of possible adjustments I need to make. I also need to look at how I'll be able to calculate my work. I need to also be able to calculate my EPS. In my EPS, I need to find my PAT. I also need to be able to find information regarding the amount of shares that the business do have. The examiner goes further, asking me to look at share price information. Share price information is something I can't think of. So I'm thinking that I might get this information from reading a scenario. Now, let's look at the second step. Once I've done that, I need to annotate my skeletal plan with the sort of information that I'll need to enable me to answer my question well. For example, if I'm picking up no part, I know that to be able to get to my no part, I need to make some possible adjustments. So things that pop to mind will include I know that I need to add back my interest net of tax. I also know that I might have to add back my good vote that I have more amortized for the period. I also know that I need to add back any historic depreciation. I also know that I need to add back any increase in provision or any increase in allowance for bad and doubtful debts. I also know that I might have to be thinking about what? Adding back development costs. Also, I need to also be thinking about thinking about adding back non-cash expenses, if any. Now, these are the sort of things that I need to think about. Even though I have not read the scenario, I know that I'm being asked to calculate EVA. To calculate EVA, I need to calculate my notepad. To get to my notepad, these are the possible adjustments that I need to think of. I can also do the same when I'm, when I'm about to calculate my economic capital employed. I ask myself, what are the possible adjustments that I need to make? Some of these adjustments will include if there is any capitalized operating lease, I know I have to deal with that. If there is any cumulative amortized goodwill, I know I have to deal with that. I also need to think about a situation whereby I have non-interest bearing liabilities, I need to deal with that. I also need to look at a situation whereby I need to know whether to use the opening or the closing capital employed given to me. Most often, the examiner will always trick you. So remember, we always start with the opening balance. 
The next thing I need to look at is, do I have any development, development cost that has not been capitalized? And also, I need to be thinking about any allowance for that or that that I've taken out. These are the sort of adjustments I'll think about in calculating my EVA. So my first step was thinking about possible adjustment for my notepad. Now, I've also thought about the possible adjustment that I need to use in calculating my economic capital employed. The second part of the question is asking me to calculate my EPS. EPS calculations, I know that I need to be able to get to my profit after tax. I also need to be able to get my number of shares given in the business. With this in mind, it makes it easy for me to actually attack the question and score more marks.